Have you ever wondered about the majesty of Imperial Vietnam? Let's embark on a journey back in time to the era of the Nguyen Dynasty, which spanned 143 years of history, culture, and architectural grandeur. Here, the Imperial City of Vietnam was the heart of this dynasty. Here, the citadel stands as a testament to the Nguyen Dynasty's power and opulence. Imagine walking through the imposing walls that once shielded the royal family and their court. Within these walls, you would find palaces, pavilions, and theaters, each a symbol of the dynasty's cultural prowess and artistic inclination. But the Nguyen dynasty's grandeur wasn't confined to the citadel alone. Scattered across the city, you'll find the final resting places of the emperors who ruled during this era. These ornate tombs, each one a masterpiece in its own right, are a testament to the dynasty's reverence for the afterlife and the opulence that marked their reign. Take, for instance, the tomb of Emperor Tuduk, a serene and picturesque landscape that mirrors the emperor's love for poetry and nature. Then, there's the tomb of Emperor Min Mang, a harmonious blend of architecture and natural beauty that reflects the Confucian ideals the emperor held dear. Not to be missed is the tomb of Emperor Kai Din, a fusion of Eastern and Western design elements, a testament to the changing times the emperor lived in. Each of these tombs, in their unique way, tells a story about the emperor it houses, providing a fascinating glimpse into the lives of these powerful rulers and the times they lived in. The echoes of the Nguyen dynasty continue to resonate in the heart of Hue, reminding us of Vietnam's grand imperial past. As you wander through the city, you can't help but feel a sense of awe and reverence for the rich history and cultural heritage that Hue continues to preserve and celebrate. From the Grand Citadel to the Royal Tombs, the Nguyen dynasty's legacy lives on, etched in the very heart of this historic city. Beyond its historical allure, Hue attempts visitors with its delectable and diverse cuisine. The city's culinary scene is a tantalizing tapestry woven from centuries of cultural exchange and royal refinement, making it a veritable feast for food lovers. At the heart of Hue's gastronomic landscape is the bustling Dongba Market, a vibrant hub where locals and travelers alike flock to sample an array of fresh produce and local delicacies. As you navigate its bustling aisles, you'll be greeted by the intoxicating aroma of simmering broths, the tantalizing sizzle of grilling meat, and the vibrant hues of exotic fruits and vegetables. It's a sensory overload that captures the essence of Vietnam's culinary culture. From the market, we dive into the city's street food scene, where local specialties reign supreme. First up is Ban Khoai, a crispy, pancake-like dish filled with shrimp, pork, and bean sprouts and served with a tangy peanut sauce. It's a delightful medley of textures and flavors that perfectly encapsulates Hue's culinary spirit. Next, we have Ban Bayo, a beloved snack that translates to water fern cake. These delicate rice cakes topped with dried shrimp, crispy pork skin, and scallions are served in small round dishes. One bite of this savory treat, and you'll understand why it's a favorite among locals and visitors alike. Yet, it's not just about street food in Hue. The city's culinary repertoire extends to royal cuisine, a legacy of its imperial past. Elaborate multi-course meals, once exclusively enjoyed by the Nguyen dynasty, are now accessible to all. These dishes, meticulously prepared and beautifully presented, offer a taste of Hue's regal history. To truly appreciate Hue's culinary scene, one must also acknowledge its emphasis on balance. In each dish, you'll find a careful harmony of flavors, textures and colors, reflecting the principles of yin and yang. It's a philosophy that extends beyond the kitchen, permeating every aspect of life in Hue. In Hue, every meal is a journey through the city's rich culinary heritage. Each bite reveals a story, a tradition, a piece of Hue's soul, inviting you to savor the city's history, one delicious morsel at a time. Hue's spiritual charm lies in its tranquil pagodas and monasteries. This city, with its deep-rooted Buddhist heritage, is home to a multitude of sacred spaces, each echoing with the hushed whispers of centuries-old chants and the soft rustling of monks in meditation. Two of the most significant of these are the Tian Mu Pagoda and Tu Hue Monastery. Towering above the serene landscape of Hue, the Tian Mu Pagoda is more than just an iconic seven-tiered tower. It's a symbol of the city's spiritual devotion and an architectural marvel that has weathered the test of time. Constructed in the early 17th century, 
This pagoda's history intertwines with that of Hue itself, bearing witness to the city's evolution through the ages. Today, it continues to serve as a beacon of Buddhist teachings, attracting both the faithful and the curious with its tranquil ambiance and breathtaking river views. On the other hand, the Tu Hue Monastery offers a glimpse into the everyday life of Buddhist monks. Here, in this sacred space, the renowned monk Thich Nhat Hanh spent his early monastic life. Walking through the monastery's tranquil courtyards and quiet corridors, one can almost hear the echo of his footsteps, imbuing the space with a profound sense of peace. The monastery, with its moss-covered walls and ancient trees, invites visitors to pause, to breathe, and to contemplate the impermanence of life, just as Buddhist teachings encourage. Exploring these sacred spaces, one can't help but be moved by the deep sense of tranquility that pervades them. The rhythmic chanting of monks, the soft glow of incense smoke, and the serene smiles of golden Buddha statues all contribute to a soothing spiritual experience. Experience the serenity of Hue's Buddhist heritage. Marvel at the architectural beauty of Tian Mu Pagoda. Immerse yourself in the tranquility of Tu Hue Monastery, and you'll find yourself drawn into a world of meditative calm. In the hushed silence of Hue's sacred spaces, one can feel the profound serenity of its Buddhist roots. Away from the city's historical landmarks, Hue's countryside offers a different, equally enchanting charm. As we venture outside the city, the landscape transforms, revealing the verdant beauty of rural Vietnam. This is where the hustle and bustle of city life gives way to the tranquility of the countryside, a place where time seems to slow down. Here we embark on a leisurely bike ride, a popular way to explore Hue's rural landscape. The journey leads us to the tile-roofed Thanh Thon Bridge, an iconic structure that has stood for centuries. As we pedal along, we are surrounded by an endless expanse of lush rice paddies, their vibrant green hues stretching as far as the eye can see. The air is fresh, and the only sounds are the soft rustling of leaves and the distant murmur of local farmers tending to their fields. Along the way, we pass by vegetable farms, their neat rows a testament to the hard work and dedication of the local farming community. Small footbridges crisscross the landscape, connecting one paddy to another, each one a lifeline in this rural setting. These bridges, often made of bamboo, are a symbol of the resilience and ingenuity of the Vietnamese people. The bike ride offers a chance to immerse ourselves in the rhythms of rural life. We encounter locals going about their daily routines, their warm smiles, a welcoming sight. We might see a farmer knee-deep in water tending to his crops, or a group of children playing by the side of the road, their laughter echoing across the fields. This journey through Hughes countryside is more than just a scenic ride. It's a glimpse into a way of life that has remained largely unchanged for centuries. It's a testament to Vietnam's agricultural heritage, a vital part of the country's cultural fabric. As we reach the end of our journey, the Tan Tuan Bridge comes into view. This architectural gem, with its traditional tile roof and wooden structure, stands as a proud symbol of Vietnam's rural heritage. It's the perfect ending to a day spent exploring the serene beauty of Hue's countryside. In the simplicity of Hue's countryside, one finds a quiet charm that is uniquely Vietnamese. The remnants of French colonialism in Hue offer a contrasting narrative to the city's imperial past. As we delve into this chapter of Hue's history, we find ourselves walking down Le Loire Boulevard. Named after the revered Vietnamese Emperor Le Loire, the boulevard is a perfect fusion of French and Vietnamese architectural styles, where tree-lined streets meet colonial-era buildings. One such building is the La Residence Hotel, an art deco masterpiece that whispers tales of the past. Initially serving as the residence of the French colonial governor in the 1930s, this building stands as a testament to the influence of French colonialism in Hue. Its sweeping curves, geometric patterns and subtle pastel shades are hallmarks of the Art Deco style, a popular architectural movement of the time. Today, the La Residence Hotel continues to dazzle visitors with its old world charm and elegance. A short stroll from the hotel brings us to Quoc Hoc High School, a crimson spectacle that exudes a sense of grandeur and nostalgia. Established in the late 19th century during the French colonial period, Quoc Hoc is one of the oldest high schools in Vietnam. Its buildings, 
painted in a distinctive shade of red, are a striking contrast against the lush green gardens that surround it. The school's French colonial architecture, featuring high ceilings, large windows, and ornate detailing, is a constant reminder of Hue's colonial past. But these buildings are more than just architectural marvels. They serve as silent witnesses to a significant period in Vietnam's history, offering insights into the cultural and social changes that occurred during the French colonial era. They are symbols of resilience and adaptability, standing tall against the test of time, weather, and political change. In the colonial era buildings of Hue, we find a poignant reminder of a bygone era. They serve as a testament to Hue's complex history and diverse cultural influences, adding yet another layer to the city's rich tapestry. As we walk these streets, we are not just exploring a city but stepping into the pages of history itself. A well-planned visit to Hue can enhance your experience of this historic city. As you prepare for your journey, keep in mind that Hue's weather varies throughout the year. Springtime, from February to April, is a delightful season to explore Hue, as the weather is generally mild and pleasant. However, if you're a fan of summer heat, June and July might be the right time for you. But brace yourself, as the temperatures can soar quite high. On the other hand, if you don't mind a bit of rain and want to experience Hue in a different light, consider visiting from August to January. The city takes on an ethereal beauty in the rain, but make sure to pack an umbrella or a raincoat. Keep in mind that the weather can impact your sightseeing plans, so it might be wise to visit during the drier months if you want to ensure optimal conditions for exploration. Now let's talk about getting to and around Hue. The city is well connected with the rest of Vietnam, making it easily accessible. Domestic flights, trains and buses link Hue to significant destinations across the country, offering a range of options to suit different travel preferences. Once you've arrived in Hue, Navigating the city is a breeze. For short distances, you might enjoy exploring on foot, soaking in the city's atmosphere at a leisurely pace. Bicycles are another fantastic way to get around, allowing you to experience the city's charm up close. If you're looking to cover longer distances, or want a break from walking or cycling, taxis and cyclos are readily available. Cyclos in particular offer a unique and fun way to travel around Hue allowing you to take in the sights while enjoying a leisurely ride. In essence, moving around Hue is straightforward and convenient, adding to the city's appeal for travelers. With careful planning, your journey through Hue will be a seamless exploration of its history, culture, and natural beauty. So go ahead, chart your course, and embark on an unforgettable adventure in this historic and enchanting city. From its imperial citadel to its tranquil pagodas, Hue captivates visitors with its timeless charm. We've journeyed through the remnants of the Nguyen dynasty, a 143-year reign that left an indelible mark on the city. We've savored the delights of Hue's cuisine, a culinary adventure that took us from bustling markets to royal banquets. We've immersed ourselves in the serenity of the city's Buddhist heritage, from its iconic pagodas to its tranquil monasteries. We've cycled through emerald green rice paddies discovering the hidden beauty of rural Vietnam. We've traced the city's colonial history, exploring architectural remnants of French influence. And we've navigated through the city's seasonal weather and transport options, planning our adventure with optimal conditions in mind. As we conclude our journey through Hue, we are left with a deep appreciation for this city's rich history, diverse culture and enduring charm.